stones, sand, stress and solitude, blood, sweat and tears, but at the end, smiles all round. The 10th edition of the Africa Eco Race has evoked every emotion under the hot, dusty sun. Today, a last little taster of the dunes before the caravan rolled into Senegal. In total today, 219 kilometres of time sector between Ajuk and Fimlit. After two weeks of racing, the teams are all tired, but this was not a time to relax. It would have been a shame to crash out this close to Dakar. For his first Africa Eco Race, Rui Oliveira has been consistent throughout. He was seventh today and will mount the third step on the podium tomorrow at Lac Rose. It was a huge amount of effort to get here. I left my family and I trained really hard for this race. I've had a long career and this is the icing on the cake for me to finish third in the rally. What can we say about his countryman, Luis Oliveira? After suffering family tragedy last year, the youngster has seen this as therapy. Today, he was eighth, but he finishes overall as the worthy runner-up to Paolo Cecchi. I'm really pleased with the rally. I was part of a great team. We worked well together. The bike was perfect. I am very happy. For me, the whole race was almost perfect. I came here to get experience. Perhaps one of the performances of the race was that of Jonathan Blackburn. The Brit roared home today third on his KTM. His favourite part of the race? The great atmosphere within the Malmoto camp, like a family. He finishes his first Africa Eco Race fifth overall and first Malmoto. Another high quality performance from Paolo Cecchi. He finished second today and is an admirable successor to Gevsela's overall title. Throughout the fortnight, he has taken on the role of favourite with modesty and has successfully negotiated every challenge the race has thrown at him. Both things are very difficult. Right from Monte Carlo, everyone was saying, you're going to win this, which was a lot of pressure. This year they set us an extraordinary but very difficult course. There was a lot of navigation. The three big days in Mauritania, 8, 9 and 10, were very, very difficult. Yesterday was utterly hellish, so I'm very pleased with it all. I don't know what else to say. Broad smiles all round for the Italians as Simone Agazzi won today's stage. It's a case of Forza Italia in the bike category. I have a great sense of satisfaction today. I won the stage, but I'm even more pleased for my friend Paolo, who has won the rally. I'm happy for Italy, for myself and the last two weeks racing. Today I found the stage fast and fun. In today's results, Simone Agazzi wins his first Africa Eco Race stage with 1 minute 59 seconds over Cecchi. Third was Blackburn, followed by the Norwegians Helmerson and Jensen. In the GC, barring a disaster, Paolo Cecchi will take home his first Africa Eco Race title ahead of Luis Oliveira. Jonathan Blackburn, first Malmoto, finishes fifth. Dakar, Senegal. Black Rose with its warm welcome and its vibrant colours. Getting here is the stuff of dreams. Competitors obsess out this moment, day and night, sometimes for years. Just getting here is sweet victory for each of them, but some have added incentive. 
rentre à la maison. C'est I'm coming home. It's huge. Parce que, parce que bah, déjà, je, je, je suis suivi. Everyone is watching. Je suis le seul motard. I'm the only Senegalese euh, rider, and I'm representing my country. Coup, euh, voilà, je représente le pays, et donc euh, tout le monde m'attend. Everyone is waiting for me. Matin, de, All the bikers are waiting for me. Donc, euh, my family is there. Y a pas mieux, quoi. C est, c est Doesn't get better than this. Franchement, c'est exceptionnel. It's a sentiment echoed by team number 257, Moniron Mori. They are from Dakar and they also have family at the finish line. And the end of this adventure has a particular sweetness to it. All that remains is to soak it all in. It's extraordinary. The best thing about it all will be arriving in Dakar together. We're going home. We're getting closer every day. The temperature is rising. We were really cold at the beginning. Honestly, we're so happy. The point is to feel good. It's magical. I'm so happy. The scenery, the atmosphere in Bivouac, it's really heartwarming. There are some incredible landscapes. They bring tears to your eyes. It's really amazing. Once I was in Mauritania, I felt like I was getting close to home. I have an added incentive. I am the opposite of everyone else. I can't wait to get out there because everyone is waiting for me. It's huge. I know it's not over yet, but I really want to finish. For just now, all is well. It's cool. For the instant, I'm bien, so it's cool. I really hope that lots of our friends will be at Lac Rose, all the motorsports fans. They're waiting for us, so we'd better get there. This last little Mauritanian stage made Loic Bonvie smile, but in the GC within the SSV category, it's a win for the Senegalese driver Jean-Hugues Moneron. How very fitting. In the T2 category, the fastest today and the strongest overall is the pole, Robert Shuskovsky. He is happy to finish 29th overall. Vladimir Vasilyev was less happy on the finish line. Last year's winner was outclassed this time round. The Russian came in seventh today and overall was second and was clearly very, very disappointed. Quite the opposite for Gerard de Roy. Despite pulling out all the stops to be in the top three, he finished fourth overall and first truck. My overall feeling is good. I'm a little bit disappointed not to be on the podium. We lost the race yesterday in the dunes, but the whole race was great. It was fun to be back in the desert, and I think the team really enjoyed it. What is there to say about Thomas Tomacek? Alone in his massive Tatra, Captain Solo brings home an impressive ninth place. Three is a magic number, or at least it is for Pascal Thomas, third today and third overall. Good, but difficult at the same time. The plan was to win, but there were a couple of teams stronger than us and with better cars. We worked hard. We are really pleased for the team. It's a great result. But yesterday's stage was pretty hellish. Following a 10-day long battle with last year's winner, Mathieu Serradori and Fabien Lurcan came in second today, winning them the biggest victory in their career to date. High emotions on the finish line as the two men climbed out of their buggy. What I will remember is that we put together a great team of passionate people, thanks to our mechanics, our manager, who's also my dad, and to Fabien, who worked so, so hard. Without their help, I would never have managed it. I would just like to say one thing. He thanked everyone else, but there was only one person who had the idea, drove the project, and who found the right person for every job. One person who drove it all. 
On top of this, that person also drove the car, like a superstar, and it's him. It's Mathieu Serradori. It's him. C'est Mathieu Serradori. C'est lui. Today's stage winners were Guillaume Gomez and François Borsotto in their Optimus, a just reward for having had so much mechanical trouble in the first three days in Morocco. It was a great stage. We managed to finally do a stage with no mistakes. I've learned so much in the last two weeks. Today, Francois and I drove a pretty perfect stage. It was a great way to finish. And I think our time wasn't too bad. We had great fun. In today's rankings, first success of the race for Guillaume Gomez with 1 minute and 42 seconds over Serra Dori. Thomas was third, followed by Lorg, Gerard and Julien. All being well, Serra Dori is this year's winner with 1 hour and 7 minutes over Vassiliev. A last congratulations to the bakers from Paris, Monsieur et Madame Julien, who finished sixth. Tomorrow sees the final long-awaited stage of the 10th anniversary Africa Eco Race. We're off to the legendary Lac Rose for a 22-kilometer lap of honor. A massive relief for some, certainly a reward for all. That's us for the penultimate time this race. Here are some of the day's best images. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.